Today is about going back to work uh, to represent the uh, taxpayers of the county and uh, the, my constituents, and I'm looking forward to uh, going back to work. He's back. Commissioner Jimmy DeMore will return to work tomorrow as Cuyahoga County Commissioner, but with some restrictions. Last week, as you know, he was charged with 26 criminal counts. Today, Jimmy DeMore pledged to remain Cuyahoga County Commissioner. But not without some ground rules. On your side, Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us live with what happened in federal court. Well, Danita, prosecutors came as close as they could to putting a muzzle on DeMora. In a hearing today, they outlined what he can and can't do while free on bond. Jimmy DeMora arrived at the federal courthouse accompanied by his attorney. Morning. And moments before federal prosecutors laid out what he can and can't do, DeMora announced his own plans. So we're going to fight uh, tooth, and, tooth and nail, but today is about going back to work uh, to represent the uh, taxpayers of the county and uh, the, my constituents, and I'm looking forward to uh, going back to work. Commissioner, you'll be there tomorrow, of course. I'm plan hopefully. As a result of today's hearing, Russo must abstain from voting or discussing with any commissioners or county employees, either directly or indirectly, all of the following. Personnel decisions, projects, companies, or individuals named in the indictment, the Juvenile Justice Center, the County Engineer's Office, halfway house contracts, the budget for common pleas court, unions or union members, and funding for Parma, Berea, Solon, Bedford, and Lakewood. I asked Amora about his fellow commissioners calling on him to resign. Well, they had some pretty tough language. I'll be at the meeting tomorrow. I've done nothing wrong, again, when it comes to county business. I've done absolutely unequivocally not a darn thing wrong. The taxpayers haven't been bilked out of any money, not one cent. Every vote that I've cast has been for the lowest and best bidder. Every contract award, any vendor that's been approved to do business with the county has all been staff recommended that I followed. Well, prosecutors want to prevent DeMora from possibly influencing or coercing either county employees or others named in the federal investigation. And that's why they outlined those tough restrictions. I'll have more at 6 o'clock. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan. Thank you, Ron. A week after entering a not guilty plea in the Cuyahoga County corruption case, Gates Mills businessman William Neheiser is asking the court for permission to travel to the Ohio State game this Saturday. Conditions of Neheiser's bond limit travel, and he needs a judge's okay. Neheiser has surrendered his passport, and his attorney says he's not a threat to travel. He plans to leave home Saturday morning and return to Gates Mills Saturday evening.